everyone, I hope you're all having a marvellous day. Marvellous? Really? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. And a lot of you guys have requested to see this, so I'm really excited to be able to film it for you. And didn't know where I was going with that sentence. I honestly don't have anything else to say. So we're just going to jump straight into it and put some makeup on this first. <laughs> So the first thing that I do before I apply any makeup products to my face is apply a moisturizer, which I've already done, so we can just keep on moving. Now I'm going in with a primer, and today I'm just using my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and I love this stuff. It's really good. So I just always apply this primer to my T-zone because that's where I get oily. Next is foundation, and at the moment I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, and I picked this up a couple of weeks ago, and I'm really loving it. So. That's the one I've been reaching for every day at the moment. Now I'm going to be mixing two shades together today to get my perfect colour because I'm fake tan at the moment. So now I'm taking the lighter one and we're just going to mix that in on top. Okay, then to blend the foundation in I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush which is one of my favourite brushes in the whole wide world. Buff, 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 buff. It's in my hair. Now this is actually my second buffing brush because the first one that I had I actually melted. What happened was I washed all my makeup brushes and then I had to get ready and they hadn't dried in time and I really needed to use this brush and so I was like I know I'll just blow dry it. Don't do that. It melts the bristles. <laughs> I always make sure that I take my foundation over my eyes because I have freckly eyelids. Now it's time to go in and hide what the foundation it did not and today I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks, a bit on the sides of my nose and then under my eyes. And then I'm just going to blend this all in using my finger. When in doubt, blend it out. Now so all that hard work does not go to waste, we're going to set it all in place with Oh my gosh, that rhymed. Does it make anyone else really happy when you rhyme not on purpose and you're just like, yeah, I'm a poet. I'm gonna set my makeup with the MAC Studio Fix Powder and this is one of my holy grail products. So I'm just gonna take a powder brush and press that powder onto my face. Now I'm patting the powder on instead of swirling it because I don't wanna move around any of the liquid products that I just applied. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly fill in my brows and to do this I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Medium Brown and I'll also be using the Clinique Super Fine Liner for Brows and this is in shade 2 Soft Brown. So now that my brows are done it's time to move on to eyeshadow and I do not wear eyeshadow all the time because I'm quite a lazy person and most of the time I'll just wear mascara and call it a day. But today, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm grabbing my Naked 3 palette and taking the shade it's Limit and Nooner. So that's really funny. So taking Limit and Nooner through the crease, it shall go. Okie dokie, next for my lid colour, I'm going to take another Urban Decay shadow and this is in the shade SWF and I'm going to take this on my ring finger and press it onto my eyelids. Press, 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 press. This eyeshadow was love at first swatch. So then from that Naked 3 palette again, I'm going to take the colour Strange and just apply that to the brow bone. Then I'm going to take a smudge brush and the colour Nuna again and just smudge that into my lower lash line. This is the most attractive face ever. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to apply quite a few coats of mascara to my upper and lower lashes. So you guys, I've recently started watching Gossip Girl again. Don't know why I decided to do that, because now I can't stop. I just... I'm binge watching all of them. It's really bad. Now I would love to know who is your favourite Gossip Girl character. Mine would definitely have to be Blair. I think she's so funny and she's just so fabulous all the time and I want to steal her wardrobe. And now to the lower lashes and I should stop talking because, yep, I'm going to smudge this halfway across my face. So now that the eyes are done, it's time to finish off the rest of my face and I'm going to be taking my NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm just going to use this to bronze up my skin 
and give it a little bit more definition because it's looking rather flat at the moment. So I'm just going to apply this to my temples and then I'm going to take it down the sides of my face and apply it in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm just going to repeat that to the other side of my face because we need them to match. <laughs> For blush, I'm going to be mixing two of my favourites together and they're both from the brand Too Faced. And this one is in the shade Something About Berry and this one is in Peach Beach. So I'm first going to take the shade Peach Beach which is a beautiful shimmery bronze colour and I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. Then I'm going to take the Something About Berry shade and this is a gorgeous berry colour like the name would suggest and I'm just going to replace a tiny bit of this on top of that peach beach. Ta-da! Now at the moment I'm actually going through a bit of a phase and I don't really like wearing lipsticks or lip glosses but instead I love wearing lip balms and my favourite combination at the moment is the Carmex Classic Moisturising Lip Balm and then Lolly Balm from Benefit and I just apply these to my lips which you're going to see me do right now. So first what I do is take the Carmex Lip Balm and apply it to my lips. Then to add a little bit of colour I will take my Lolly Balm from Benefit and just dab this on top. So there we go, that is my everyday makeup routine. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any new videos that I post. Thank you all so much for watching and I will speak to you guys next time. Bye!